Alrighty, hello guys, Lucky Me Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are actually working on this plane once again. As you guys can see, we actually have some wheels now, which is pretty awesome. Uh, they are on the side of my aircraft and they do wiggle a little bit, and I'm not sure why, but there you go. So that is a thing. We're then going to actually go ahead and today... Whoa, words. Words are all going wrong. Today we're actually going to go ahead and uh, try and put a front landing gear in as well. Uh, if that is possible. So let's go ahead and lower these down, see how far down they go, and then figure out how or uh, where to actually put the front one. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so landing gear is down, there we go, that is pretty awesome, and the front landing gear should be down, I, I don't really know how much actually. <laughs> let's have a little look outside of here and figure that out. So probably like three blocks. So we're going to go with at least two out the bottom, and that seems fine. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so I need to figure out where we can actually put this, and, uh, well, yeah, where we can actually put this so that it doesn't look so bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be quite tricky, actually, because these pieces, if they all come out, uh, that is a big old hole. That is a huge hole. Uh, not really what you'd want, so... We're going to try and work through this uh, as you would, so we're going to go ahead and cut this and paste it, there we go. We're going to take it to the other side, we're going to go ahead and cut that, and we're going to paste it. And then we're actually going to go ahead and, I guess, delete this, and whack it on one of the sides, doesn't really matter. There we go. Alright, so now, in theory, we can actually put a little block in here that allows this to fold outwards, and that would be awesome. Yes. Okie dokie, so how would that be done then? I think if we actually put these guys uh, right about here, uh, we have the opportunity to actually make this work. So if we put that there, put that there, we have ourselves a throttle lever, which we'll put outside, just for right now. Uh, if we could put it somewhere, oh god, where can it go? We'll put it right here, okay, awesome. We'll attach this to there, attach it to there, and give them all electricity, and we will see how this works. Okay, here we go. So, right, we've got our wheels, that's all good. Let's go ahead and do this. What? <laughs> what? Does that not have electricity up here? Does none of this have electricity? It does. Oh, it doesn't, because that's not connected anymore. There we go. All right, so now it's got electricity. Let's see what happens. Ready? Meow. Okay, landing gear door is open, as you guys can see. Then we'd have the landing gear fold out, and then we can actually... Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Nice. Okie dokie, so then we actually need the landing gear to be inside of here, which is annoying, but track, let's go ahead and allow that to happen. So, we're going to go from somewhere like here, go all the way up to the tippity top, alright, figure out where that is, at the tippity top, delete all of this again, actually go backwards one, make it all go all the way down, there we go, and then delete this guy, go ahead and get one of these guys, put it right on there, okie dokie, awesome. Uh, and we actually need it to go forwards probably one more as well actually so that's gonna go on there like that we're gonna get ourselves a wheel and we're gonna put that down probably a wheel coaster there we go and we'll see if that actually works so give this some electricity as well put it to there and honestly if this is gonna open up then that's gonna go down BAM alright there we go is this gonna work who knows alright BAM Landing gear, it did actually come down. It needs to be longer, though. It needs to be further away from the top, which is okay, because we have room to do that, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't have any room to do that. So if we did this, and then we put the wheel coaster on there, we can't actually put it in. However, ideas. Ideas, guys. Ideas. Do this. Okie dokie. Get ourselves a small wheel like this one. Put it right there. Put it on the other side as well. Spawn it in. Okie dokie. Now is it going to work? Who knows? Who knows? Not me. Oh. Yeah, there you go, you see? Perfect. <laughs> not perfect. It's not. Not. It's not perfect. Alright, cool. So if we delete this, we delete this, and we actually just have one landing gear at the front. What we need to do is delete this guy. Go ahead and grab this guy. Delete that. Put it there. Delete this guy. Spawn it in again. See what happens this time. And it might actually work. It will be to one side, but that is actually okay. There we go. Landing gear down. Guess it works. Yeah, I suppose. All right, get back inside and see if those work as well. There we go. Jump in the seat if we can. Press four. All right, I suppose. 
That is kind of okay. It does kind of work, but not really. So I don't know. Right, okay, let's just say that we could probably make this one a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Okay, so go to the side. Go down one. There we go. Get ourselves a wheel, possibly a 5x5. Five five. Doesn't fit. Does it fit there? No, it doesn't even fit there. But if it did fit there, then maybe that's okay. Oh, who knows? Who knows? All right, let's try this. Uh, it is a little bit wider, though, so it might not actually even fit outside of the, the hole. Oh! Oh, it's trying! It's trying its best! It's out. It is actually out, and it I guess it would work. But it's not amazing. It's not its not what we want. Not really. All right, here we go. Press 4. Yeah, that wheel at the front ain't it. It ain't it. We need a different idea. Oh, and I should mention as well, this actually all needs to be sealed up as well, so uh, this is going to be a bit of a problem. It is going to be a bit of a problem for us, because we need to actually fill all this in like that, essentially. This all needs to be filled in as well, meaning that we can't actually come downstairs anymore at the front, which is okay if we have a, like a ball, not a ball turret, but a turret at the front uh, that works. So, yeah. Anyway, we need to come up with a system that works here, and we don't have one. Okay, so if we can sort this out at least a little bit, that would be great. So, uh, currently, obviously it is right here in the center. If we delete this little section right here, you guys can see where it is. There it is, right there. And this door is currently sort of in the way. So if we moved it to the side, that would be awesome. Uh, and it would allow us to actually use more room here. So, uh, in theory, if I... Uh, da -da -da -da, how would I do this? How would I do this? Uh, hmm. Hmm. If I literally just copy this and this, we go ahead and cut it. We move it up a bunch, like two more, maybe even just one more actually, just to there. There we go. And then we put an extra piece of this uh, in there, just like so. We then merge this with this, and then we delete it. The, well, actually, grab one of those, delete it, put it there. Okay, awesome. And then we have the floor sort of filled in a little bit over the top. That would work. All right, there we go. So let's say we did this. It doesn't look pretty, it is not pretty, but does it work is the question. That is the question. And then we can put the wall back and that will be a-okay. Alright, good. Let's want in again. This is the last try. Let's see if it works. Come on. It just has to poke down a little bit more than the door does. That's all. A little bit more than the door does. Also, is it powerful enough to do that? Yeah, okay, right. Good, good, good. And then finally, all we need to do now is we need to delete this. We need to attach a block to there, go ahead and put a block on there, and then we are good to go. Alright, so the, it will come down enough now, and it'll actually come down more than enough. There we go, which is awesome. If we jump inside and we put down the rest of the landing gear, then we should have the rest of the landing gear down. Yes. And there we go, that is enough. That is enough space. Yes. That's cool. Alright, cool, and then if we put these away... They do actually fold in now, that's perfecto. And then we just put the uh, bottom land gear onto the same thing, and we should be good. So, where does this go? It goes to there. If we put this on there, there, and there, <laughs> will it work? That is the question. That is the question. If I just press 4, will all the landing gear actually work? I want to say no. Probably not going to work, but let's try. There we go. The doors have not opened. At the front, the doors did not open. I repeat, the doors did not open. But why? It's because they're not connected to the electricity, that's why. Alright, there we go. Connect that one, and connect this one. Try again. Alright, come on. Press 4, and hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, I'll cry. Alright, here we go. 4. Doors have opened. Landing gear has fallen out. Okay, engines, let's say they go on. Oh, landing gear collapses, but that is because the gear ratio is awful on this one. So let's make it super strong. Here we go, like that. There we go. And then we'll try again. Come on, one last time. Let's go. Come on. Come on, you got this. You got this, press 4. Landing gear comes down and goes out. That's awesome. We go forwards. Landing gear just 
collapses and collapses and collapses and collapses and then collapses a little bit more and then it breaks and then we smack into the trees that is annoying it's very annoying I don't know whether we need like a lock for it or not because if we had a lock then that'd be fine but we don't have a lock I don't even know if we need a lock but like this should be fine it should work but it just doesn't it just doesn't work please please work zero grip like very very limited grip so it just slides along come on come on what is even going on there? What just happened over there? What? Alright, okay. Also, uh, it can't actually be on the same switch box because um, the minus is actually pushing the uh, the thing in, which is not good. So we'll put that right there. There we go. And we'll actually connect this up as well. So this goes to there and there. Okay, good. Uh, the off value is 0, the on value is 1, and then it is actually going to be controlled via 4. There we go. Alright, so now it should work. The doors at the front should just stay closed. Okay, if we get inside and we open the landing gear, it should be fine. Okay, so press 4. Why is it? Uh, why, does it not have, does it not have electricity? Is that the problem? Yes, it doesn't have any electricity. So maybe we didn't have any problem in the first... Oh, whatever. All right, here we go. Come on. <laughs> so many, like, tiny, tiny errors just frustrate me. All right, there we go. So it is actually going to push itself down and out. There we go. The landing gear is strong now, so let's see what happens. Let's do this and this. This. Okay, cool. Then press 4. And the gear doors close. This one isn't working. It's so annoying that that isn't working. I have an idea for those though. So if we actually grab it and we edit it and we take out all of the pipes because the pipes just, I mean, they look silly anyway. So if we delete that and we delete that, we delete that and we delete that, we then grab this. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we spawn it in again. I feel like... Because it's a pipe now, it might actually, like, guide it more, if that makes sense. So, press 4. There we go. Landing gear, landing gear. Throttle. Okay, we're in the sky. Press 4. It hasn't guided it in when it should. Oh, it's so annoying, these wheels. These wheels, guys. These wheels. The front does actually work perfectly, though, so that's good. We need to see if we float, though, so let's go down into the water and see if we float. Here we go, we're going down. We're going to press 1. And we're down. Okay, turn the engines off. Awesome, we are actually currently floating, which is good. And we're a little bit more level than we were, actually, which is perfect. Uh, and that is actually awesome. Alright, good. Good. Can we take off still? That is another question. Taking that on. Turn this on. Pull up, throttle up the full. Oh, this is where we're going to have issues. Oh, just no issues at all. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, cool. Guys, we're good. We are good. Landing gear down, landing gear up. Oh, the front landing gear is perfect. The back landing gear is not. The, the rear landing gear is just not good. We can make the wheels smaller, I suppose, but it's not really what we want. It's not. It's not. We want these big wheels. Hmm. I guess for now we could do it. Alright, okay, so delete that. Get ourselves a smaller wheel, which is a 5x5, five five, I believe is the smaller one. Is it? Or was that the one we were using? No, 5x5. Five five. Okay, this is the one we're going to use. Uh, so we put that on there. We then go to the inside. We put this on here, very good, delete this guy, put the wheel on, that is tiny, what the, that's so small, oh, then this would be smaller, but actually, that's a good thing, because this is way too big, that is way too big, alright, get rid of all that, delete this, 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 and all of this, there we go, do this, and then do this, okay, so, 
This is going to be interesting to see how well or how good this looks. I want to say that it's going to look kind of ugly, but we'll roll with it and we'll see. So do that all the way across there. That's fine. Okay, so we've done it, except we need to delete something. We need to delete this guy and replace it with this. No, it's not even there. Where is it? This guy and replace it with a block. There we go. All right, cool. So now spawn it in. Let's take off and see what happens. Okay, so we got the smaller landing gear. Let's see what they look like to begin with. Tiny. Okay, but I mean, they look so small. <laughs> they look so small. But we need to see if they actually retract midair. Because if they do, that's great. If they don't, then whatever. Right, here we go. We're in the air. They retract straight away midair. You see? Problems. But, like, solutions, but also problems still, because those landing gear are tiny. They're so small. We need the bigger ones back. We just need them to work. Okay, bigger ones are coming back, because I hate these ones. All right, get rid of that. Go ahead and put a proper one on there. Uh, put this. Delete this. Put that there. Delete that guy. Put that one on. Delete this guy. Uh, 7x7. Seven seven. What? Oh, it's this. Yeah, you see? Is it this that's causing issues, though? Is it, like, is it actually this piece that's causing issues? Because it could be. Could actually be those pieces causing issues. All right, get rid of this completely, and we'll see if it works without any of this. There we go. Even with this, it actually looks kind of cool. All right, go! Go, go, go! Get us it. Wait, did I delete the things and did I replace the things? I don't think I did. All right, inside we go to the deleted replacing thingamabobbies. Okay, here we go. Delete this guy. Put this in. Put that there. Spawn it in. See what happens. Go! Go, go, go! Guys, I, I would be happy if this worked. Where am I? What? I just fell through the floor. All right, press four. Both landing gear have gone down. The front landing gear is going down. Awesome. Go, go, go. Okay, we're in the sky again, press 4. And no, it is still a problem. Still a problem. That's annoying. <laughs> That's very annoying. Okay, right, give me a second. We need to sort this out anyway, because what is going on back there? What is even going on back here? We had a big hole in the whole thing. That's crazy. Uh, so, we can actually have these pieces, but we don't want them. The thing that's blocking us is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's blocking us. We're gonna go ahead and put this right here. We're gonna paint this guy and this guy. And we're gonna see if that helps. Because it might. It might help a little bit. Possibly. We'll get rid of that too. And then maybe that'll help. Who knows. Alright, cool. So. Let's put these guys back on. Uh, these edge pieces. Because I feel like we should. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And also... Uh, you guessed it. There we go. And I can't put that piece in there anymore. What? Did I go out even further than... Oh, I did. I did. One sec. Okay, please. Please work. If this works, I'm going to be so happy. All right, press four. Okay, just to see if it works on the land. Let's do four again. There we go. It did actually go in, which is awesome. Yeah. All right, do this and this. Throttle up. Go. All right, we're in the sky. We are in the sky. We press four. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Come on. Just get in there. What are you doing? If I wiggle the plane a little bit? No. There's no way of me just forcing that. No. Are you serial? Why? Why is that a thing? Why won't they go up higher than that? The smaller ones did. The bigger ones don't work. I haven't tried the bigger ones. But they won't go in. Why not? I'm actually so annoyed with this. Why is that a thing? Why Why is it struggling so much to do this? This is super annoying. Alright, last, last thing that I want to try is to actually go underneath this. Alright, figure out where the pieces are that it is meeting with. Like these ones. 
and let's say these ones and attaching something that will allow them to actually just slide in there so maybe something like this will help or maybe it will interfere who knows so turn it around put it right there make sure there are no holes into said aircraft wherever that may be where is it where is it no holes into said aircraft please there we go and that allows it to actually slide in a little bit better maybe so that'd be good if that works Fat chance, though, I don't think that will work. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I, th I feel like this should be working, but it's just not. Also, before I forget, I am going to paint this chair brown. There we go. We did it. Let's go. Okie dokie. Everybody ready? Four is done. Four is going down. There we go. They're a bit wibbly wobbly. I think that's the problem, but I don't know why they're wibbly wobbly. So there you go. Anyway, throttles up. Let's go. We are now flying. Press three. There we go. That folds up perfectly. That's all fine. Now if we press four. <gasps> no way. No. Guys, they did it. They folded away too. Woo! That's crazy. Nice. All right, cool. Well, anyway, we got the landing gear working. That's awesome. Finally! Okay, so I'm so happy that that is actually done now. I, it's one of the things that I rarely put on my builds because it ends up just being a pain in the butt. But uh, there we go. The rear landing gear actually folds away. The front landing gear folds away as well. Uh, the pontoons fold into the wings as well, which is awesome. The engines work. Uh, the propeller... Everything works. Everything is actually working. For once. Which is amazing because my planes never seem to work fully. But there you go. So we've done the main bulk of it. Uh, it flies, which is awesome. Landing gears work. Takes up from water. Lands on water. Very awesome. We got the rear gunners, or the side gunners, I should say. Uh, and this thing, it works. I'm happy. I'm very happy. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.